In this session, I am going to explain about liquid crystals. First, let us see what is liquid crystal. It is a state of matter that has properties of both liquids as well as solid crystals. You can see here the molecules in the solids are systematically arranged, whereas in liquids there will be some disorder. If we are seeing the liquid crystal, it will be in between these two phases. Hence, the liquid crystals are characterized by having solid-like molecular arrangement and liquid-like flowing ability. The liquid crystal state is also known as fourth state of matter in addition to solid, liquid and gaseous phase. The liquid crystals are mainly classified into two categories. First one is leotropic liquid crystals and the second one is thermotropic liquid crystals. Thermotropic liquid crystals are further classified into nematic liquid crystals, smectic liquid crystals and cholesteric liquid crystals. First let us see leotropic liquid crystals. In this type of liquid crystals, the orientational behavior is a function of concentration and solvent. These molecules will be amphiphilic, that means they have both hydrophilic and hydrophobic ends in their molecules. You can see here, this is the amphiphile having two ends, hydrophilic and hydrophobic. Whenever this amphiphile is added to solvent like uh, water, the hydrophilic ends attracted towards water and the hydrophobic ends shows water repellent property. Hence, in uh, leotropic liquid crystals, hydrophilic end is attracted towards water, whereas hydrophobic end is water repellent and attracted towards non-polar solvent. As the orientation of these crystals are concentration dependent, these molecules are randomly oriented at low concentration and uh, as concentration increases, they get started to arrange themselves. Example is soaps and detergent form uh, leotropic crystals when they combine with water. Second category is thermotropic liquid crystals. The orientation of molecules uh, in this type of liquid crystal is depending on temperature. By increasing the temperature, there will be a movement of constituent molecules which induces the change in phase. The solid crystals on heating, it will turn into thermotropic liquid crystals. Whereas in case of liquid, Cooling is required to get liquid crystal. The thermotropic liquid crystals are further classified into three categories. First one is nematic liquid crystals. In this type, the molecules are oriented in a common axis, but they are free to rotate around the axis. This type of liquid crystals are used in LCDs. Second type is smectic uh, liquid crystals. In this type of liquid crystals, the molecules are oriented along the common axis and uh, they are parallel to each other. This type of uh, liquid crystals are used in nonlinear optics. Third type is cholesteric liquid crystals. Here, the molecules are arranged in a helical structure. This type of liquid crystals are used in optical applications such as light filters and reflectors. Now let us see the properties of liquid crystals. The important property of liquid crystal is anisotropy. Anisotropy means the material exhibit different optical property when light is incident in different direction. 
Liquid crystals have unique optical property like birefringence, which make them useful in displays and other optical applications. Liquid crystals are also exhibit polarizability, which means they are showing response to an electric field. The viscosity of liquid crystal is relatively high, which makes them resistant to flow. The liquid crystal can also undergo phase transitions between different ordered state and hence exhibit change in optical properties. Chemical stability wise, they are highly stable. Hence, they are suitable for various applications. Now, let us see the applications. The major application is they are used in liquid crystal displays. The liquid crystal layer in LCD allows for the display of images by using electrical current, which controls the orientation of crystals. They are also used in optical devices such as optical communication system, spectroscopy and imaging devices. They are used in various sensors such as temperature sensing, humidity sensing and chemical sensing. Liquid crystals have been also employed in drug delivery system where the drug is encapsulated in the liquid crystal matrix and delivered to specific target cells.